Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and this is another shortwave for beginners where we talk today about utility stations. What are utility stations and what do you, could you expect to listen to on shortwave with utility stations and what do you need as equipment for this to actually work? Well, utility stations are stations that actually are anything but pirates, CB, amateur and international broadcasts. They are in all the bands in between where often you hear these weird noises and sounds and Morse code and all sorts of digital stuff and sometimes voice stuff. It's what is probably dominant on shortwave. More utility stations than anything else on shortwave actually. There's a lot to listen to and it's a fascinating world once you get interested one page that I'll be sharing on this video is the HF Underground page of shortwave utility stations. It actually gives you a nice list of different types of aeronautical, maritime, beacons, military, government, and so on. Because, yes, there's a lot of stuff to listen to. Government agencies, uh, I often hear the Civil Air Patrol from the U.S. Military, I often hear uh, Mars, Military Auxiliary Radio System, uh, NETS. Marine, there's weather broadcasts, there's all sorts of information, boats. Even though there's less maritime communications than before, there's still a lot of stuff. Beacons of all sorts. Aeronautical, there's a lot of airplanes to listen to. Less right now because of the lack of planes in the sky because of COVID-19. But as, as all of this comes back to normal, there's going to be a lot of uh, airplanes and aeronautical communications and so many other weird, strange, and bizarre transmissions of all sorts. It's a fascinating world. What do you need? What do you need to actually be able to listen to this? You need a shortwave radio that is capable of single sideband because pretty much everything in here is going to use upper sideband for the most part. So a radio with single sideband is required to listen to this. And these stations are often uh, weaker than regular international broadcasts and so on. So that means you might actually need to have a better antenna or a better situation with noise. And all of that we're going to talk about in videos coming up. So hang in there uh, if you enjoy the series. Uh, there's more and more of all of this coming uh, as the days uh, will go by. So fascinating world to listen to. Look at this page, look at the different frequency ranges and what you might expect to listen to. And uh, maybe you'll be fascinated by this side of the hobby. Uh, shortwave utility stations uh, is a fascinating world indeed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.